How do you get started? That's an important question. How do you get started on anything? Let's say you want to start shooting videos. Where would you start? I'll give you some ideas. Let me tell you how I got my video blog started. Now I had made other blog posts. I've actually done this on and off since oh, 2006, 2007. So I'm not exactly a stranger to it. But this time around, what I did was I said, all right, well, I want to shoot video blogs because uh, my fiance Jack was getting into it because it seems like there's a lot more people consuming video than there is text right now. So I wanted to be sure that I was able to contribute in the way that I did. Now remember, we're talking about how to start any project, but I want you to think of what I'm going through here. So step one, goals. What was my goal? I want to communicate in a different format. I said the reasons why Jack was into it, people were getting into it, people are consuming more video. My goal was I think I would like to be able to converse on that method. Step one, goals. Step two, start a small project. See what you could do with it. Don't worry so much about the tools. This is iMovie on a Mac. It is so easy. I will tell you right now, I got some incredible advice once from Robin Mead. Robin flies airplanes for Delta. And Robin said, we went into the cockpit of an airplane. And I was like, wow, this is so cool. He goes, you wanna know what I tell young aspiring pil uh, pilots? He says, See all the buttons and knobs? Great. Now, look which ones are rubbed raw that have been used so much. And then look at the ones that look like they've never been touched. Pay attention to the ones that have been used a lot because those are the only ones you're gonna use. On iMovie, I use a mouse to drag things bigger and smaller, and, and I use the space bar to start and stop the film. Start and start and start and stop. 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 And I use Command B, which is on the Mac, it doesn't, you don't have to know this, to split the, the clip where I want to split it. So these edits, these clips, these cuts, Command B, Command B, Command B, watching that little line move go stop, that's it. That's what I learned technologically. It wasn't the whole software. So when you start to look at a project, number two, figure out a project to launch. Number three, right close together. So this is like two and three. Figure out how to use the tools in the simplest way possible to get it launched. By the way, on this camera, I push two buttons. I push the power button and I push the record button. I'm doing this because the record button's behind the camera and this because the power button's on top. That's it. And I also try to make sure that it's in the frame. You know, like you can see my head. That's all I'm doing. Step four is just repeat. Repeat the little projects. Do a few projects. You've got to do a couple of something before you know if it's any good or not. Now, climbing a mountain might be a project you do once, but maybe you climb a lot of hills on the way to climbing the mountain. I don't know. But step four is repeat. Step four is repeat. Step four is repeat. Step five is now you've done it a bunch of times, you gotta evaluate. Is this the thing I wanna keep doing? Is this a project that I, you know, is, is my ongoing thing? Is How does this fit into the rest of my business, my life, whatever it is? What am I gonna do with this? That's step five. And then last, step six, is revise everything, refine everything, and make it a real process so that you can keep doing it. That's how you learn new things. That's, that's the whole process and a whole quick, simple, easy six steps. Let me draw some attention to some of the steps that were not covered here. There was no step called, read a lot of books about this. There was no step called, let's ask a lot of experts how to do it. There was no step called, get lots of opinions from lots of people whether or not you should do it in the first place. None of those are steps. Just do the thing. One last related important detail about that is that if you want to succeed at things, you can't look around for experts to give you all the best advice. A lot of times experts don't know what to do. They know how not to do some of the stuff that'll cause you some trouble. So you're gonna look for ways that you can avoid that. But that is what an expert does. They don't tell you how to do new things. Experts tell you how to avoid the mistakes that they made along the way to finding out how they did their new thing not your new thing. So one last little bit of detail before I get on the road. Do it because it's something you want to figure out how to do and figure it out. Don't wait for experts to teach you how. They're not going to know. Do it because it's something you want to figure out. I think it's fun. And always share those projects. Share the ones that work out. And you know, I like to share the failures too. You don't have to, but I think a lot of people learn from it.